Uh, g'day, 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 g'day. Captain Australia here. I'm really sorry that the uh, uh, battery died. So this morning I had a phone interview. Uh, I needed, you know, th there were just some things that need I needed to stream for you. When I came upon this little inlet here, uh, I was at maybe 6% battery. So I'm so sorry that after all that walking back and forth, just as I did the crossing, the battery died. So I've got out the power pack, which... Uh, that's this magic thing. It's down to about 20% because it's just not getting the pickup from the solar array because of all the overcast weather. But here's what happened. And I don't know if you can, actually I can show them to you. Over there, in the distance, there's two men. The man in the gray shirt, can I zoom? Yes, I can, okay. Fellow in the gray, big unit, lovely guy. His name is Billy, okay. So what happened, I, I looked for spots to cross, that local guy made it across. Hello, Andrew. Um, the local guy made it across, went up to his sort of upper thigh, and I attempted the crossing, and I could see that just with the heavy weight of the bag, there was an, ele a, an element of risk that I'd get dragged over. Uh, you know, it wouldn't kill me, but it'd so saturate the gear, and if I didn't escape, it could I could drown, I guess, with it all strapped on. So it was all kinds of stupid. But this chap that I just showed you, Billy, he waded out to the halfway point to help us test the depth, okay? Um, and this big unit, so I will answer your question in a second, this big unit stood there like an anchor. So I was able to go to him, wade out. It was up to my upper thigh, you know. Um, wade out there and then grab his arm and like an old married couple, we made our way the rest of the way across. So none of the gear drenched safely across the inlet. And what a wonderful example of human kindness. So let me show you again, these people. And I think they're checking me out. It's very possible they're watching this stream at the moment, which would be surreal, watching me streaming them. <laughs> um, oh, it's starting to rain a little and the phone screen's cracked. So I wanna, uh, I, I'm sorry, I haven't plugged the earphones in. I haven't done a good job with any of this this morning and I apologize. How, how many more days of walking do you have before you get to Melbourne? I'd say a good solid 75, I reckon, maybe. I don't know. It all depends on pace. I get the feeling, and Happy New Year to you, I get the feeling that I'm going to um, get stronger with the pack. And uh, howdy, howdy, howdy. Um, I'm going to get stronger with the pack. At the moment, it weighs on me a bit, even though I've, I've let go of a lot of gear. I, I am. It is a physical contest, but mentally doing fine. Uh, so I'm, I'm at Byron Bay, just need to roll into town, find a laundromat, and uh, yeah, uh, when you, 2022, it's, I, for me it will be awesome because even if a whole chunk of bad stuff happens, I've changed. You know what I mean? By the time I get to the end of this, I will have pulled together like that initial spark of hope and, and just grown it to something that I, I, I genuinely, sincerely think it'll be able to sustain me for the rest of my life. So I'm delighted by that. And that's what the Big Walk is about for me personally. It's about finding, reforging, building, growing, and sharing hope. Um, and healing, I, I, you know, fixing parts of myself that were broken by cancer and have been broken longer than that, you know? Um, so yeah, I've, I've had a wonderful day, horrible weather on the beach, heading into Byron, gonna find a laundromat. Uh, made it across that inlet. I'll show you that again in case you didn't see it before. And I'm sorry to the people who were watching. I know it looks pretty tame at the moment. Um, the tide's going out. Probably if I waited until now, I could have come across and it's only knee deep. Ah, oh, thank you, Natalie. That's very kind of you to say. The cracked phone screen's getting wet in the rain, so I better leave it there. All the best to you. I just wanted to quickly let you know I survived the crossing. Take care of yourselves. Bye.